Alright guys, we are back for more of my Easter special. We just did a game of Family Feud Decades for the Nintendo Wii and that was pretty fun and we were able to win $810, which wasn't too bad. So, for our next segment, we are going to be playing Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii. Let's see if we can do good on this game. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Will this do easy difficulty? All right, let's do it. This is Jeopardy. Today's contestants are Player One. Player two. Taking on Kay and Sam will this game. And now. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jeopardy. Thank let's you. Let's go to work in the Jeopardy. All right, let's see what the categories are for the Jeopardy round. And we start the Jeopardy round categories with this one. I want to be... I want to be... TVMDs. TVMDs. Mythology. Mythology. South Korea. South Korea. You picked, you picked a, a fine time. time. And, and animals. animals. Okay. Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the next selection as we continue. You can point the Wii remote at the screen and press the A button to select the clue. Let's start animals for 200. Here's Kelly from our clue crew with the clue. One in every six known bird species makes its home in this rainforest. I definitely know this. Yes, player one. Use the Wii remote the Amazon? to the corresponding direction. Yeah. You got it. Animals for 400. Select again. Sputniks 5, 6, 9, and 10 carried these animals into space. Okay, player one. What are cats? No. Oh. Any other takers? We're talking about Dogs. It was dogs. Oh, okay. Alright, let's do animals for 600. Again. Got one of these odorous animals, also known as a polecat, as a pet? Call your humane society to make sure it's legal. Let's hear it, player one. What is a skunk? That's correct. There we go. Alright, animals for player 800. One, critters of the Pleistocene epoch include the mammoth, and this breast tooth relative. Player one. What is the mastodon? Yeah. Yes. All right, animals for thousand. Choose again, player one. Dachs, as in dachshund, is German for this burrowing animal. Uh, I'll go for it. Yes, player one. What is the badger? You yes! Correct. Okay. Uh, let's go with uh, South Korea for 200. With more than 10 million people, it's the largest city in South Korea. Let's hear it, player one. What is Seoul? Yes. South Korea for 400, please. We return to you, player the one. The 12th century book, Sanguk Sagi, Recounts the time when this religion came to Korea from India. It's player one. What is Hinduism? Oh. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the response we were looking for. Buddhism. Oh, it was Buddhism. That was going to be my second Play guess. Oh, wow. Well. South Korea for 600. At the 2008 Summer Olympics, South Korea's Cha Dong Min won the heavyweight gold medal in this national sport. Okay, player one. 
What is Taekwondo? Yes! Alright, South Korea for 800. This medicinal herb of the genus Panax is native to Korea. Here's the correct response. Ginseng. It was ginseng. All right. South Korea for a thousand. MacArthur thought the battle for this port would end the Korean War. Didn't work out that way. Player two. What does Kay say? And Sean, and she's right. Please pick again, player I want to be for 200. One of these dancers, so I'm practicing my arabesques and pirouettes so I can perform with the Kirov. Okay, player one. Uh, what is a, a barina? Alright. You again. I want to be one. for 400. One of these, from the Greek for star sailor, like John Glenn or Buzz Aldrin. It's player one. What is an astronaut? Yes. That's correct. I want to be for 600. Select again. One of these, and deal with the health problems of Vicunas, Pintos, and Great Danes. Let's hear it, player one. What is a veterinarian? Got it. I want to be for 800. Player one. Like Martin Luther King and the Dalai Lama and be honored with this humanitarian prize given in Oslo. Player one? What is the Nobel Peace Prize? That's right. Wait, wait. I want to be for a thousand. Player one? This, from the Greek for straight, and make some big bucks correcting crooked teeth with braces. Yes, Let's see what three. Samuel says. Orthodontist, and he's right. Choose again. Player three. TVMDs for 200. JD, Turk, and Dr. Cox have practiced on this series. Let's hear it, player one. What is Scrubs? That's right. Uh, we'll go with TVMDs for we 400. You, Maria Bello and Sherry Stringfield are among the many who doctored up this long-running NBC show. It's player one. What is ER? Yeah, Got it. Right. TVMDs for 600. Player one. Doctors Lisa Cuddy and Allison Cameron have roamed Princeton Plainsboro Hospital with this acerbic title doc. Oh no. The correct response is house. It was house, alright. TVMT is for 800. Answer the daily double. Answer the daily double. And you're in the lead now. You need to select your will. I'll go for 2,000. And the daily double clue. Dr. Kavanaugh, the first name would give things away, was a Boston ME with a checkered past. On this drama, what is Crossing Jordan? That That's right. I'm up to seventy-two hundred dollars now. Let's That's go with TDMDs for a thousand. We dig forensic anthropologist Dr. Temperance Brennan on this Fox drama. Okay, player three. Samuel says bones. Good. He got it. Player three, back to you. You picked a fine time for 200. Deion Sanders knows this term for the evening hours when the largest audience is available for TV. Player one. What is prime time? Is got prime. it. Okay. You picked a fine time for 400. Again, Estimated at around 30 years, it's accepted as the average period between birth of parents and their offspring. Yes, player one. 
What is generation? Okay. That's right. You picked a fine time for 600. Player one. A time just before sunset or after sunrise on a movie set. Or a former L.A. Lakers late night talk show. It's player one. What is happy hour? Oh. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Well, we still have a big lead right there, but that's okay. Player two. Katie says magic hour, and she is right. We return to you, player You two. picked a fine time for a hard We had pleasant sensations learning about the era of this, which covered President Monroe's two terms. Okay. Let's see what Samuel says. Good times? No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Alright, 50-50 chance now, so let's go yes, for it. One. Um, what is... Good vibrations? Oh. No! Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? So Katie's gonna get this one. Let's hear it. Player two. It was good feeling. I should have said that. Oh well. <laughs> Player two. You pick a You game. picked a fine time for a thousand. This longest division of geologic time doesn't have a fixed period. In astronomy, it's one billion years. Okay, player one. What is an eon? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, mythology for 200. Some say his 12 labors were penance for killing his wife, Megara, and their children. Player one? Who is Hercules? That is correct. Mythology for 400. You get to pick again. Jupiter is the Roman equivalent of this Greek god. It's player one. Who is Zeus? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Mythology for 600. Select again. She was given a box and told not to open it. She did, releasing the world's evil, but shut it before hope could escape. Yes, player one. Who is Hera? Oh, Sorry. No. no. Anyone else? Let's hear it. Player what does Case say? Juno? Sorry. No. Any other takers? So we know Samuel's going to get this now. Player three? It was Pandora. Alright. Please pick again, player three. Mythology for 800. Let's get Kelly's assistance on this clue. According to Greek myth, this monster depicted here eight people who could not answer its riddle. Okay, player one. Was the Sphinx. <laughs> Let's have a look at the thousand dollar clue. This Greek sea god could cause springs to flow and create storms with a flourish of his trident. It's player one. Who is Triton? Oh, no! That one was wrong. Anyone else? I thought for sure that was him right there. Uh, I guess I thought wrong. Let's hear it. Player two. Okay, he says poison dog, and that was what we needed. Okay. The selection will be yours, player three. When but we do have the lead after the Jeopardy round, so Samuel will select for us a double Jeopardy. Let's see the categories. Categories for the double Jeopardy round are Jazz, jazz nicknames, nicknames, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, World Leaders, World Leaders, The Essence, The Essence of, of things. things with S quotation marks, Insects, and Religion. And religion. Okay. Player three gets to make the first selection. World leaders for 400. Moving into the double jeopardy round. In 1999, Tabo Mbegi, who fought to eliminate apartheid, became leader of this country. 
I'll take a guess on this. What is South Africa? Oh, Got God. it. Okay, I'll do world leaders for 800. Hu Jintao became the general secretary of the Communist Party in 2002 and leader of this country in 2003. It's player one. What is Vietnam? Oh, no. Any other takers? Let's hear it. Player Katie two. says North Korea. Oh, no, nope. that's not either. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? So Sam's gonna get this okay, one. Player three. We are looking for China. Hey, All right. Player three, back to you. World leaders for twelve hundred. Here's Kelly. She'll show you. The country whose flag is seen here elected its first female chancellor in two thousand five. I should know this. Player one. What is Germany? You got it. World leaders for sixteen hundred. You get to pick again, player one. In 2006, Stephen Harper of this country's conservative party became its prime minister. Yes, let's see what Katie says. Canada. She got it. Choose again, player two. World leaders for 2000. In 2008, Tillman Thomas became prime minister of this Caribbean country Invaded by the U.S. in 1983. I'm not too sure about this. Here's what we were looking for. Grenada. A Grenada. Oh, okay. Player two. Pick again. Jazz nicknames for 400. Edward Ellington. Here's the correct response. Duke. Oh, Duke. Okay. We return to you, player. Jazz two. nicknames for 800. Charlie Parker. Here's the response we were looking for. Bird. A bird. All right. Player two. You pick again. Jazz please. nicknames for 1,200. John Brooks Gillespie. Player three. Samuel says dizzy. Yes. We got it. You again, player three. Jazz Deck thinks for 16 Thomas Wright Waller. We're talking about fats. Fats, okay. Please pick again, player Jazz three. Jazz Deck thinks for 2000. Julian Adderley. The correct response is Cannonball. Cannonball, all right. Select again. Shakespeare for 400. This title queen uses an asp, a poor venomous fool, to kill herself. Let's hear what does Katie say? Cleopatra, <laughs> and she's right. Player two, back to you. Shakespeare for 800. This moneylender asks, hates any man the thing he would not kill? Here's what we were looking for. Shylock. Shylock, okay. Player two, back to you. Shakespeare for, for 1200. He uses the word assassination for what he plans to do to Duncan. Here's the correct response. Macbeth. A oh, Macbeth, okay. Layer two. You pick again. Shakespeare please. for 1600. Here's Kelly to start us off. A reconstruction of this famous Shakespearean theater opened in London in 1997. 
Here's the correct response. The globe. Oh, globe. I was thinking that, but I so wasn't again. sure. Shakespeare for 2000. The characters in this play include the charming Rosalind and the sardonic Jaques. Here's what we wanted. As you like it. As you like it. Okay. Please pick again. Player two. Alright. A cover the of essence of, the of, of the things for 400. It's player one. What is the sh the shape? Yes. Okay. The essence of things one, for a hundred. You. You'll be a contender if you know this term for a boxer who jabs with his right. Yes, player one. What is the slugger? No. no. Sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the response we were looking for. A south pole. It was a south paw, okay. We return the to essence of things for 1200. The deliberate destruction of property or equipment by resistance fighters or enemy agents. The correct response is sabotage. Sabotage, all right. The you essence of things for 1600. One. Old school inhalant to give you a nicotine rush. Here's what we wanted. Snuff. Snuff, okay. Layer one. Uh, the essence of things for 2000. And there's one of the two daily doubles. Answer. The first of the daily doubles. You are in first place. I'll, I'll do 3,000. Answer this. From the Urdu for soldier, it was an Indian native who served in the British Army in the 1800s. What is... Sepoy? You yes! Alright, up to $10,600 now. Let's go with insects for 400. The finest singers among species of this insect are the tree type, not the house or field type. Okay, layer one. What is the cricket? That's right. Insects for 800. Again, one. It reached Texas from Mexico around 1890 and spread into most cotton growing areas of the United States. Yes, player one. What is the bull evil? Yes. That's right. Insects for 1,200. You again, player one. Like 1990, 2007 was a year when these noisy insects famously swarmed the Midwest. Let's hear it, player one. What are... Bumblebees? No. no. Anyone else? Okay, player two. Katie says cicadas. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was going to be my second guess, but it's what it is. It sucks for 1600. Stoneflies belong to the order Plecoptera, which means pleated this. Here's the correct response. Wing. Wing, okay. Layer two. Back to Insects for 2,000. Two common shorthorn species of this in North America are the lubber and eastern lubber. We're talking about the grasshopper. The grasshopper, okay. Choose again. Player two. Religion for 400. People of this religion, called Christians and Jews, their fellow monotheists, 
Al Al Kitab, People of the Book. It's layer one. What is Hinduism? Uh, no, that's not uh, it. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Well, it was only 400 that we lost on that. So we shouldn't complain all that much. Here's the correct response. Islam. Islam. That was going to be my second guess. Oh, well. Again, Religion for 800. One of three major branches of Christianity. It originated in a 16th century reformation. Here's what we were looking for. Protestantism. Protestantism. Okay. Select again. Religion for 1200. This term for a Jewish house of worship comes from the Greek for meeting. Let's see what Kay says. Sam Ogu and she got right. You get to pick again. Player Religion two. for 1600. Begin this act, part of penance, by saying, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Then spill the beans. It's player three. Samuel says confession. He got it. And the two thousand dollar clue. And we know that last clue is the second daily double. I'm sure. The second. All right. Let's see how much Samuel's going to wager. Four thousand one fifty. All right. Here's your clue. Zen, a branch of this Asian religion, aims for satori, or enlightenment. And Samuel says booze, and for he's right. Second. I'll see you all. For all right, now it's time for point. Final Jeopardy, and let's see what our category well, everything is. Everything depends on Final Jeopardy, of course. So let's take a look at the category, shall we? Landmarks. Landmarks. Okay. Please every word. Um. Let's see here. Call me crazy, but. I'm just going to wager everything. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Here you are, players, the final Jeopardy. All right, here's the clue. Some of its pieces, which weighed up to 50 tons, were quarried at Marlborough Downs, about 20 miles away. Um... Let's see. I will say what is Stonehenge? What did you put as your response? Alright, Katie says Stonehenge. Is she right? With that correct response. She is right! She wagered 3,805 per her up to 10,205. Let's see your response. Samuel said Westminster Abbey, but he's wrong. That will lose you. 3,255. That puts him down to 6,295. And your response? I said Stonehenge, and I'm right. And the correct response will add... I wagered everything, so I'm the winner with $20,400. You're the winner. All right. I got so lucky right there on Final Jeopardy, raising all my money, but it did pay off. That was incredible. So I do have to say, that was a very amazing game that we have right there, taking home $20,400, so I will gladly take it. So anyways, that is going to do it for Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii as part of my Easter special. So we still have uh, four more games left to play, and I will see you all for the next segment right after this. Stay tuned.